Behind me is the Orion spacecraft. That's the spacecraft, the capsule that will take people uh, to the moon, beyond, somewhere else. I had a chance to catch up with some of the folks behind the scenes making Orion possible. Let's go check it out. Hey, welcome to Orion. Uh, this is a medium fidelity mock-up of Orion. We call it medium fidelity because certain aspects are really high fidelity. And, and what we use this uh, mock-up for is all different sorts of human factors experiments. And what we mean by that is we test the, the people part of the spacecraft. And for example, you can see four seats. These are the seats and the consoles that the astronauts will be seated in and strapped into for their ride from the launch pad into space and then for re-entry too. So for example, in this mock-up, these are very high fidelity mock-ups of the seats in exactly the locations they'll be on the actual Orion vehicle. And what we do here is we practice the crew getting into and out of their seats uh, while they're suited up. And once they're in their seats, you'll see this uh, console right here. This is the crew's uh, control panel. And if you can, if you, can you swing that camera around and, and take a look at what our control panel looks like? Yeah, here we go. So, wow. Isn't that something? Three, <laughs> three computer monitors, and Orion is largely flown by computer with the ability for the crew to interfa interact with the control system. So in this facility, we make sure the crew can get in and out of their seats and we can make sure they can reach all of the displays and controls they need to operate the vehicle. Mark, I see a, like a, I see a joysticks, what look like joysticks on either side yes. of, of this. And I'm just curious, what, what are those for? Like normally on the shuttle, there'd be like a commander seat and a pilot seat uh, in the front. Um, is that kind of where they would be sitting? Exactly. You're, you're right next to the commander seat. This is the pilot seat. Orion can be completely operated from either seat, so uh, there is a redundant set of displays and controls on either side. So you notice, you, you highlighted that we have two, we call them translational hand controllers. The hand controllers that the crew will use to pilot the vehicle once we're in space. Great. So now we're, we're sitting here, I can see where everyone sits with these seats all, all out. It doesn't seem like a lot of space, but I imagine they wouldn't need these seats uh, the astronauts once yeah. they're on their missions. Yeah, as soon as we get into orbit, uh, the crew gets out of the seats, they, t they take off their suits, and then the seats fold up and we move them out of their way and we put the suits in nooks and crannies. You know, you mentioned uh, it doesn't look like a lot of space. This is actually one of the largest spacecraft uh, that we've ever built uh, for humans. The only spacecraft with more of a volume was the space shuttle. Wow, so when I'm looking inside, like I, can, I think, wow, those astronauts on Apollo, must have had a hard time, but it would have been smaller than this. What, much what we're smaller, seeing. much smaller. And in fact, in fact, with Apollo, you were you, the seats were really there and in 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 there all the time. You didn't have nearly the maneuverability you do in here. Great. I might point out where you're sitting. Whoa. That's where the bathroom's going to be, right through there. <laughs> because we're going to ask people to live on board Orion for periods of up to three weeks. We're equipping it with with a facility with a toilet. There will be a privacy curtain, but but they will. It won't be like shorter missions uh, to and from the space station, which don't have toilets. So like a, like a trip to the moon where the Apollo astronauts very famously had to kind yes. of make do with, with maybe Bags. some some primitive yes. situations. Yes. Uh, the folks here will have a, yes. at least something much nicer. Yeah, we call it, we have a fancy engineering term for it. We call it a waste management system, but it's a space toilet. Great. Now, what am I looking at up here, right above us all? Yeah, um, yeah what this is, this is what we call the docking tunnel. And above us is a docking hatch. When we fly to, for example, the Deep Space Gateway, which will be a spaceport around the moon, we'll dock with that gateway on a using a mechanism on the other side of that hatch. And after we dock, we'll open the hatch here and the hatch on the a gateway for the astronauts to go back and forth between the vehicles. In a very similar way, when we have landers, landers that we use to land on the moon, landers on the Mars, uh, we'll dock with the landers, and the crew will get into and out of the landers via that hatch. Okay. Well, Mark, you know, this is a pretty amazing vehicle uh, for astronauts to fly in. Uh, it, it seems like it's, you know, it, it can be used for those shorter trips to the station or for the, the longer trips to the moon or Mars or, or, or beyond. I see some windows out here. It seems like they're a lot bigger than Apollo. Uh, am, am I right there or no? I, I, you know, I can't tell you if they're bigger than Apollo, but we put a lot of effort into the usability of the windows. So if you actually sat in the seat, um, the windows are designed to allow you to look out and be able to fly the vehicle exactly to the to where you'd be flying to while you were in your seats. Uh -huh. You'll notice that some of the 
the, the windows have unique shapes and are, are slanted at certain angles. Every one of those parameters was engineered to give the crew the best viewing conditions possible. Great. What's next for Orion? Uh, you know, while we wait for uh, the the critical test, the abort tests uh, that are coming up, uh, what's the, the the big milestone for astronauts to get on board? Yeah, really, really, the next two closest milestones is uh, first of all, we're going to have the ESA service module for Exploration Mission One uh, shipped from Bremen, Germany, to the Kennedy Space Center in September of this year. Next month, in August this year we're going to ship the Exploration Mission 2 crew module from a facility in Louisiana to the Kennedy Space Center. And that crew module, it will be the crew module that takes humans back to the moon for the first time since 1972. Great. Well, Mark, thanks so much for giving us inside look at the Orion spacecraft. Uh, very excited to see what uh, uh, the uh, new astronauts, the veterans here, uh, are going to experience once they, uh, they, they get back into space on this, this vehicle. Thanks for coming today, Terry. Thanks. Have a good day.